So clearly a very alarming afternoon. We have learned that two non-students were involved in a shooting in the parking lot of McEachern High in Cobb County. Glad you're with us today for Channel 2 Action News at 4. I'm Justin Farmer. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Linda Stouffer. Wendy Corona is off today. We'll get you the very latest on that breaking news right now. So here's what we have. News Chopper 2, live over McEachern High. There's this live look. You see the school buses there. So for the kids who normally take school buses home, they're going to be transported home on the school buses. For carpool and the kids who drive their cars, they are moving across the street to the Church of Latter-day Saints uh, to make their way home. But to catch you up on the details, about 1.47 this afternoon, two people shot in the parking lot, Keechan High on New Macklin Road. This is just north of Powder Springs, okay? New Macklin runs largely north and south. Tonight, we have live Team 2 coverage, and we begin with Channel 2 Cobb County Bureau Chief Michelle Newell. Hey, Justin, spoke to a parent who tells me she sees these things on the news all the time. She never expected to get the call from her son as he was in the basement on lockdown when all of this was happening. I want to show you where I am right now. We are here live along New Macklin Road. You can see police blocking off uh, an area. We are less than a mile away from the high school. We want to show you this video of the shooting posted all over social media you heard the police chief say he has seen this video we counted at least nine people in the school parking lot many are wearing hoodies it appears some are wearing masks you can see shots fired someone falls to the ground we know two young people were shot they are not students and don't have life-threatening injuries the campus was on code red I spoke to a student who managed to leave campus after the shooting happened I also spoke to a parent whose son heard the gunshots and ran into the school most of the um, entrances and exits were blocked, so I didn't know what to do, but um, the cops are just running. They're running by, and they're like, everybody leave, get out of here. He was in the theater class, and they went down to the basement, told him to lock, lock up, and so they're just trying to figure out what's going on. Back out here live again, less than a mile away from the school here, you can see police officers blocking down part of New Macklin Road. As we heard school officials and the police chief say, school buses are running again right now. Parents in the process of reuniting with their children not too far away from where we are now. Obviously, a lot to learn as the shooter's still out there. Reporting live from Cobb County, Michelle Newell, Channel 2 Action News. And just a couple of minutes ago, the police chief confirmed they are working on suspect descriptions. They've been going through that video as well. But it was interesting to hear the chief talk about the heroes who ran into the school even before they knew if this was an active shooter situation. Michelle, the chief making it clear it was never an active shooter situation. No one else was involved.